Let us discuss now a term that is atavism. What does atavism mean? Atavism means reappearance of a certain ancestral, not parental structure which has either completely disappeared or greatly reduced. Actually, this word atavism means reversion or throwback. What does this mean? It means reversion or throwback. So, what is this process atavism? Atavism means reappearance of a certain ancestor, means the characteristics, the traits that are not present now, they reappear in some reduced form. So, a reappearance of a certain ancestral, not parental structure which has either completely disappeared or greatly reduced. So, when such characters appear, this is known as atavism, means the re reappearance of ancestral characters is known as atavism. Now, why this happens? Scientists think that we have a tendency to depict, to have some ancestral characters after they have disappeared. So, this tendency is what? This is atavism. This reappearance of these ancestral characters is what? This is atavism. Let us take an example. Some children are born, some babies are born with some tailbone. This tailbone was considered as an ancestral character, but now this tailbone is not present in, in most of the individuals. So, this presence of tailbone in some individuals is an example of atavism, means reappearance of a certain ancestral trait. So, as you can see in the image, sometimes babies are born with a tail, with a tailbone, extra tailbone, which is also known as coccyx. Right? It is also known as coccyx. So, this is formed at the end of the vertebral column. There are, there are few segments which are fused together and they form the tailbone which is known as coccyx. So, the appearance of coccyx or the tailbone in certain babies, in some babies is an example of atavism. And when you move uh, to some other examples, you must see that some human beings have lot of hair on their body and some have tailbone, some have extra mammae. Uh, two pairs of extra mammae on their body. So, this appearance of certain characteristic traits which are actually the ancestral traits which are not present now is an example of atavism. And uh, let us move back to the previous slide. As you can see that we have shown two leaves here. The plants also show this atavism. How? I have taken example of citrus leaf. This is a normal citrus leaf which is showing winged petiole. Right? And this is a not normal uh, citrus leaf. Why? Because this is showing some additional leaflets. And the presence of this additional leaflets on the citrus leaf is an example of atavism. Why? Because it is thought that citrus leaf originally was trifoliate. Right? But now due to evolution, due to uh, evolution and over time, it has become this like this. But due to the ancestral character's reappearance, some citrus leaves have this structure. That is why this abnormal small leaflet gives you an evidence of what atavism means the reappearance of certain ancestral not parental structure which has either completely disappeared or greatly reduced. As I told you that citrus leaf was once trifoliate. So, over time what has happened? Now, it is like this. This It has this structure. But in some citrus leaf, what we see is this. There is development of some abnormal small leaflet which gives you an idea that the ancestor of citrus leaf would have been like this. So, this citrus leaf extra leaflet, the small leaflet gives you an example of what atavism that is reappearance of ancestral characters. So, what does atavism convey? In the evidences of evolution, it conveys that we have a tendency, organisms have a tendency to develop ancestral characters during the evolution which were lost. So, remember atavism is the reappearance of certain ancestral not parental structure which has either completely disappeared or greatly reduced. For example, we have discussed tail bone. We have also discussed in case of uh, human being the extra pair of mammae and development of extra facial hairs. Then in plants, we have discussed citrus leaves. Once it was thought that it was trifoliate and now it, is, it looks like this. But at, at certain times, what happens? Citrus leaf develop this abnormal small leaflet, which is an example of what? It is an example of atavism in plants. So I hope now you can understand what is atavism and can give examples of atavism.